Hello world from whichever time zone you're catching me from. My name is MD90. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification to all so that you don't miss any upload as it comes out. And if you're new to the channel or you've been here for a while, the easiest way for you to move around or to navigate the channel is to head to the playlist. you find videos created for you based on your interest of that. And if you are already subscribed to the channel, make sure you consider becoming a member of the channel. So on the subscribe button, you see a join button there. Make sure you become a member so to support the team on the production. And catch you around. Well, different sections of society have been uh, offering their two cents with regard to the performance of the UPND government the past uh, three years. And uh, the Republican Vice President, Mutayana Lomango, has weighed in also to give a view or analysis of how the UPND has fared so far have been in government since 2021 to 2024, heading towards 2025, they are about. So this is what the vice president had to say, uh, so, um, reported by Kalemba. So we have done extremely well. Uh, the economy is doing fine, uh, VIP. The vice president, Mutai Nalumango, says, despite experiencing some challenges as a, um, as a country, the United Party for National Development uh, government has done uh, extremely well in revamping the economy. Addressing Chilanga residents on Saturday, uh, Nalumango stated that the current state of the economy cannot be compared to that of the previous regime where it was down. Uh, she added that uh, Zambia must remember that the country's economy is being driven in the right direction as it did not uh, remain static. Uh, the vice president of the VIP encouraged the country that um, the current changes uh, will soon be a thing of the past as the UPND was committed to eliminating every obstacle in the way to development. You know uh, that our country, I mean, our economy was really down. Can we say the same uh, today? Uh, she asked the question during that particular address. Our economy, will, uh, our economy down to, is our economy down today? Further on, there may be challenges, but we have done extremely well we have a visionary president. So we, we gather here uh, to remind ourselves of the visionary leadership that we have in our president, uh, Dr. Akainde Ichilema, noted Nalumango. Uh, the purpose of uh, reminding ourselves is to encourage ourselves that we are not static. We are moving and uh, moving in the right direction. Uh, the, uh, that, that's the purpose that we, we are here for. Uh, ch challenges may, may come, but because uh, we are united behind uh, our leader, we shall overcome. Uh, challenges uh, may come, but uh, because we are united, she repeats herself there. And, and um, Nalubango further added that Zambia uh, will, soon will be soon be recognized at international level for having tackled uh, the country's uh, challenges in a unique way. So that's the view of the vice president about their performance in government. And then uh, PF says, uh, as uh, contracts come to an end uh, on uh, high indeed Shilema's appointees, so it seems like uh, a number of uh, appointees that were sworn in uh, since 2021, most of their contracts are up for renewal. So uh, PF alleged to say that's what's going on at the moment as people fight or scramble to get their contract renewed. So this is a point where the president is likely to, if he's to make any reshuffles, uh, some contracts won't be renewed there. I'm pretty sure that, that's at the discretion of uh, the president, and I'm sure he's very much in charge of that. we we'll wait and see how that plays out. But the PF went further to attach the current uh, justice minister. So the PF say, honeymoon is over. Mama, you have, uh, you have done three months as minister of justice. Where is uh, the law reform? Where is the new uh, Public Order Act? Where is the operationalization of uh, Access to Information Act? Where is the uh, respect for human rights and rule of uh, law? Uh, get to work, mama. So they attach that uh, as a re reference to the, the new contracts of uh, people that are yet to be renewed. And then Kalimba also does the same thing. Uh, they say, on a scale of zero to 10, Rate the performance of uh, uh, relevance of the three ministries uh, which were created by President Haga in the HMI in September 2021. So, uh, and then he, Kalemba highlights Ministry of uh, Small and Medium Enterprise and Development, uh, Ministry of Technology and Science, and the Ministry of uh, Green Economy and Environment. 
So simply ask for you to rate, uh, are these ministries that were created by President Haka in the HM are relevant? So uh, Ministry of Technology, that's where Felix Mutati is, and then the other two ministries that, that were created. And then someone, Oliver Malaseka, responds to them, only green economy is making a bit of sense. The other two are zero. So Maseka says only green economy. The other two are irrelevant in this case, rating those ministries. You, my subscribers, can weigh in also. How do you rate those three ministries that were created in terms of their performance? And then uh, since President Haka in the has returned, people have been issuing different statements about the president's uh, trip to China, John Tembo, that to say about the president's trip to China and his return. And then uh, Mao Sampa says he's looking forward to another call out from police as he wants to spend the night in cells to improve his political CV that is credited to the news diggers. So if you remember uh, earlier on, Mao Sampa was given a call out, uh, should have been uh, last, last week, and uh, he pretty much was given a warn and caution. So it seems like he's saying, yeah, he is expecting another call out based off uh, mostly it should be the articles that he's been publishing on his uh, platform. And then um, uh, that's Munia Zulu's opinion there. Uh, Minister of Education, Dr. Siakalima, to announce uh, 2024 GCE uh, and grade nine external results today at 10 hours. So it seems like GCE results are coming out today for those that had research for some papers to clean up. And then uh, this is in the Daily Nation. So uh, seditious and espionage arrests are condemned. Edith Nawakwi says the United uh, Party for National Development continue violation of human rights and uh, by arresting and uh, detaining uh, citizens for merely criticizing President Haka in the HLM there. So uh, they, they had visited uh, some detainees over the weekend at Central Police and they were not allowed to sue them. So that's where that statement was made, uh, attributed to Nawakwe. And then uh, Catholic bishops uh, rebuked over silence on human rights services. Uh, that's still part of the headlines on the Daily Nation. And yes, uh, uh, this is in the Sunday Mail, say Thunderbolt strikes uh, 700, uh, those are the junkies, operation aimed at reading the circle of junkies. So this is a, an operation that the police had done where they caught a number of junkies on the streets of Lusaka. Uh, and the mass newspaper says, should we all then be compensated? Pen was everywhere. Why do you need to be compensated for being a United Party for National Development member or UPND member asks uh, say, uh, to say to what to? So he simply says, uh, that the, if you know, he's referring to those compensations that uh, the number of UPND individuals have been receiving from court. They're saying, should everyone be conversated in this case? Because there is not the only members of the EUP and that experienced that. Uh, and then uh, part of the headlines there say, Haka, uh, Hichilema remains the best person to lead uh, the country um, at these uh, difficult times, Kaisala. So that's another opinion coming from the same newspaper. And then the news digger say, Mkadi go gears up resurrects uh, MDC fires party chairperson. So uh, it seems like MDC is getting back in the fray. And we wait and see how they perform. Uh, they are part of the UPND Alliance and he's a minister of uh, one of those ministries that need to be rated Minister of Technology there.